It's gonna be a sad day. Oh my. It's our last chip review. Oh no. Well, hello and welcome. It's our last chip review. Oh, but in, no. in fourth call, though. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Good. In fourth call, because we've run out of chip shops. We've done them all. It's our last one, which is going to be the Chip Shack, which is just by the fair, just below what used to be the water chute. And you may have seen from the footage earlier, it's very windy. Mm. So we've come across to Griffin Park. A nice little spot in the corner, out of the wind, in, the, in the sun. And I'm going to run over, get some chips, and come back. Okay? Do some work here. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> the last chip shop in Porthcawl. Let's go. Go. Don't forget, plenty of salt and vinegar, and I am bought ketchup, so you need to bring ketchup today. Understood. Ketchup, plenty of salt and vinegar. Face lighter. I need to say that. There's a little present in there for you. A present? Yeah. Okay. Shall I open it? Yeah, go on. Go on. Ooh, a battered sausage. Do you like a battered sausage? Uh, a lot of batter, <laughs> but yeah, yes. It smells nice. Better than I expected. It's not Heinz. Oh, I know we should have bought ketchup. Would you cope with that? Mm, I'll Maybe. To <laughs> anyway, right. I was going to say, mm -hmm. the bloke serving was really friendly. Oh, that was nice. Really good service. So that's a plus point. He was really friendly. Right. There was a bit of a queue, not much. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so it's good to have a friendly face. Did you put salt and, lots of salt and vinegar in? Yeah, I did have lots of salt and vinegar. Uh, it's quite windy today, so hopefully I it's not going to cool things down. I would say the chip's a little bit cooler than I normally like, but I think that's just because Yeah, it's because windy. we're taking photographs, you can't blame it. It looked hot mm. when they brought them out, mm. but we walked mm. a few minutes and it's windy. Nice flavour on the chips, not the crispiest chips, are they? You're right, a nice flavour, but they're not the crispiest. No. But they do taste nice. Should we go in with the fish? Go in with a fish. Mm. Nice. I think it's not the best fish I've ever had, not the worst fish I've ever had. They did say it was cod. The fish is definitely not greasy. If anything, it's a little dry. <laughs> the cod was six pound. I tried to take a photograph of the menu on the wall. I don't know if it came out. If it has come out, I'll put it up there. This all came to 11.50. That's uh, sausage and batter, chips, cod, and an Irish curry sauce. So I'm gonna try the Irish curry sauce next. Go in for the kill. It's medium consistency. Medium on the slightly watery. Not that strong. It's quite nice. Do you like it? Mm. I'm not so keen on it. It's not very thick. So if they're making the curry sauce up with the powder, I think, mm. you're not getting all that flavour, are you, so much? 
but you, you like it. Yeah, I think it's quite so fruity. Like. Sometimes we've had curry sauces and they've been really, really thick, haven't they? Mm. It is on the waterier side of all the ones we've tried. But it's got flavour to it. Mm. So what's Harrison's tomato sauce like? I think I'll give it to the expert, <laughs> Melissa. Okay, it's not Heinz, but it's, it's fine. Okay. It's I've passable. had it before. Passable. Yeah, it's okay. Did they charge you for the carries, uh, for the? Yeah, they did. It was ten pence a sachet. Oh, so you got thirty pence with the ketchup there? Huh? I thought I'd better get more. <laughs> I don't really like with your sauce. Basket sausage. Mmm. Nice and nasty, isn't it? Mmm. Okay. Not too bad, actually. Is it good to get Mel back with the chip reviews? You were with me last time. Where was I then? Didn't come down. Well, because there's enough fish and chips for a while. Yeah, you said the hygiene rating was too low. Oh, yes. What about the hygiene rating yeah. on this one? Uh, three, which is satisfactory. Which means, well, you know, they tick all the boxes. So, the last chip shop in Porthcore, the Chip Shack. I don't think it's open all year round. It's only open in the During the, sem uh, se the holiday season. So, sort of April to September? Or I April think it's to... after the Elvis Festival. Just all. Mm. Mm. Anyway, as I said before, I think the standard fish and chips in most places in this area around Griffin Park and the fairground mm. is quite good because there's so much competition. Yeah. I would go there again. It's fine, isn't it? Mm. I mean, to me, out of all the ones we've been to, it's a clear one that's not very good. Yeah. But this is. This Do you is remember good. what that is, viewers? Freco Bay. The one that's actually in Park Dean. The Chippery was the worst one. Especially since the chip we charged us, hot prices for pollen. Yeah. And the curry sauce was awful there, wasn't it? The Which is quite good, really, because um, all the others, the good. worst one was the corporate one. Mm. All the others are independent. Yes. You know, good luck to everybody running a small business in this current climate. I mean, I do have a personal favourite yeah. of the chippy, should we say, or no? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, a no, personal No favorite. endorsements, and no one's offered us free <laughs> chips. Okay. So I'm not going to endorse anybody. Okay. No, wait, can I finish that? Yeah, I think I've had enough. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to make that noise and see all that. Oh, that's quite mm, grim. That is nice. I'll take your word for it. I don't think I did that. Chips now. I've made a mess on this bench for flops of curry sauce. Oh, you've got some serviettes to buy No, I didn't. The remnants. So that's it, Mel. Aww. It's all over. Our last chip review from Porthcore. Mm -hmm. A sad day. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, important part. Mm -hmm. The scores on the doors. 
So we'll do the uh, same as before. Out of 10, overall score. I'll do a countdown and shout the score. Okay. Three, two, one, seven. Seven. Seven? Seven. Seven. That's a seven from both of us. So, a good standard, a good overall score. I think the chips were tasty, could have been a bit crispier. Yep. The, the fish. The fish was actually quite nice, but the batter was a little, the actual cod was nice, the, nice and white. The batter was a little bit dry. But if you don't like a greasy fish, then that's a good one to have. Um, Sausage and batter. Oy. It was <laughs> and over, I thought and it was the curry right. sauce. A little bit watery. Uh, yeah, and not as spicy as I normally like it. But still, if we were down the beach in Treco mm -hmm. Bay or Coney Beach, I would go there. So that's it, Mel. We've done all the chip shops in Porth Core. Mm. So Finnegan's, yeah. Boathouse, Mansell's, Franco's, Beals, and the Rest Bay Chip Bar. That's it. And those are the permanent ones. Mm -hmm. And we also did the seasonal ones, which were the Chippery down Treco Bay, um, chips to go yeah. by the near the high tide and by the fair itself, the chip shack. So there's a lot of chip shops to choose from when you yeah. visit Porth Court. Have a look at our playlist. Yeah, have a look at the playlist, <laughs> especially the one done in the snow. <laughs> mm. Anyway, I think we will do some more food in the future, but maybe no chips. And not so close to home. Not no chips, <laughs> no. So that's it. We'll see you in another video coming up next. Until next time, that's a bye from me. And a bye from me. Bye.